We're only slightly changing things and seeing how the situation is going to change, right? So here, so 15.5, so the force is like this. Okay. <clears throat> now, there's a couple of ways you can interpret this. Um, if you're looking at this, um, <clears throat> if I'm looking at this such that the x direction represents the x plane, and the y direction this way represents the, the plane uh, that gravity is in. In other words, if the gravity is this way and the normal force is this way, right, then what's going to happen? As, as that object goes over there, the force is going to do work on it and mg is going to do work on it, right? The gravity is going to do work. It's going to do negative work. So. I'm going to have to find the, uh, the, the work done by uh, the force and the work done by gravity on that object and in order to find its final velocity. The other way of interpreting this is looking at this as if it's on the table. Imagine I have a plane here. You're looking at it like this. And I'm dragging this object like this. So let, imagine this folder is like a big long folder. Okay, and I have, this is my uh, object. So let's say my calculator is my object, and I'm dragging the calculator across like this. You see? Like that. So in other words, the plane of the board would be x and y, but gravity would be into the board in that plane, right? So then gravity wouldn't do any work. Uh, so it depends how the problem is uh, worded. Did you want me to open the, okay, just a second, just a second. I, I thought there was a student looking in. <laughs> You see, you see so, so you see, depending on the situation, if the, if the plane of the board is, is the plane, if it's like this, and I'm dragging it up, okay, I'm dragging it up, then gravity does work, but the normal force still doesn't do work, right? The normal force is always perpendicular. But if the plane is like this and I'm dragging it, then only the force does work. Okay, so let's find the work done by the force. So the F would be and then what would be the displacement? Um, just 15I plus 15J, right? 5J. So what's happening here is 30 minus 15. So in other words, the downward component of your force, the negative 3, is doing negative work. It's fighting against the motion. And the, the horizontal component is doing positive work. 15 joules. OK? So if I want to know the final velocity, then it would depend on what's happening. If the, if the gravity is doing work, then what would I do? If uh, gravity is in plane 
of board, then the work done by gravity would be what? Gravity is always down, right? Negative mgj dotted into the, uh, the displacement. And since gravity is always down, it doesn't care about the horizontal distance that you travel. It only cares about the vertical change in height. Okay? So this thing doesn't even, doesn't even care about that. So then it would be uh, negative, what's the mass? Two, uh, so negative 2 times 9.8 times 5. Negative 98 joules. OK, well, if gravity does negative 98 joules, you do 10, uh, 15 joules, that thing ain't going up. Unless it had an initial velocity. OK, if it has an initial velocity, then it's kind of going to slow down, right? <clears throat> so with this example, I'm trying to also show if the gravity is involved, then gravity only cares about the vertical direction. That's it. If you go up, it does negative work. If you go down, it does positive work. That's it. OK, let's now say that the uh, gr uh, gravity is not in the plane of the board. So I'm just dragging something on the table. So I'm going to do it from now on. I'll just do it that way for the other examples. So if gravity. is not in plane of board, then the only work will be 15 joules. And then from there, you can calculate the kinetic energy. Right, square root of 15. So it's going to go slower than the other case. Does that make sense? Let's try to make sense of it. The same force dragging the block on the horizontal plane is going to make it go faster than, uh, and than dragging it uh, across a line. Now, don't, add, don't, don't give the answer this way. It's because the block is going uphill. That's why v final is less. No, this isn't going uphill. I'm dragging it along this uh, straight uh, 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 on the table surface. So how would you answer the question, why is v final less than in the, if you go straight? Yeah, the other one was 15 this way, okay, and it was the work done was 2 times 15 Oh, yeah, the, here's the reason. The other one, it was 2 I had minus 3J had 15 I had and it, it had no, uh, no Y component, right? So your, your uh, negative 3 didn't do anything. Right? It was like this. It was like dragging it like this. Right? So the negative 3 doesn't do anything. It just pushes it against the surface. If I'm going like this and I do negative 3, you know, it, what happens? The negative 3 actually does negative 15 joules of work. It kind of fights against the positive 2. You see? So that's why it goes slower. And then uh, part B, you would answer it with the same way. I'm not always going to do part B, but I'm going to concentrate on part A. And then part B, you would go F times F dotted into V, and then you would take, uh, for power average, you would do work over time. Okay, so I'm going to concentrate on part A. So now let's go and make it example three. <clears throat> 